Hello, in this video we are going to go through the Fibonacci uh, extensions and retracement tools for TC2000. So inside of TC2000 you have your drawings just on the right hand side of your chart here. The two that you'll want to look for are, it's kind of tough to see right there, but we have the retracements on the left and projections on the right. Retracements are going to be your two-pointed tool and then projections are going to be your three-pointed tool. So we'll go ahead and select the Fibonacci retracements first and this is where you click and hold a high to low swing. And it's actually pretty nice. It does snap straight too. And also you notice when you draw something if you want to move it somewhere else when you get close it turns on these little yellow crosshairs you click that and drag it to a different high you can snap it around it was actually my first experience with TC2000 it's not half bad so once you have this here what you'll want to do is right click on the line that you drew and click edit and this is going to bring up your uh, coefficient editing where you can go in and change any of these levels or turn on and off any of these levels. On my retracements, I personally only like 1272 and 1618. So I'll just change 100 to 127.2, leave the 1618 where it is, and then I like extending those lines to the right. Oop, I guess we actually don't need that, do we? There we go, it extends the lines that I want to the right. So, once I have that, I'll just click Set as Default. That way, the next one that I draw will automatically do that for me. Beautiful. So, Retracement Tool definitely gets a thumbs up. I'm just going to go ahead and remove those. And now, the Extensions Tool, also known as Fibonacci Projection in TC2000. Same thing, we'll go ahead and click and hold to draw a high to low swing but this one confused me a little bit at first because you do have to go up to the top of the bar the extension that it draws and grab that little crosshair and then pull it up to the most recent swing high uh, to use it in a similar way that we use it and same thing I'll go ahead and right click on that first line that we drew and click edit and once again just turn off the coefficients that I don't want to see so for me on the three-pointed tool that means I just look at 100 your mileage may vary you might want to add subtract do whatever you want you have the capability and then lastly I'll just show the price click set as default and then the next time I draw another one top to bottom go up grab the little crosshair drag it straight to the top and we are good to go once again I certainly hope that helps if y'all have any questions or if there's anything else I can do to help you out just please log into simpler trading click on foundation on your left hand side go to the simpler tech area and there's a big button right on top that'll let you reach out to me and uh, I'll help you out any way that I can have a good one we'll talk soon